Meghan and Harry will welcome her baby daughter on Princess Diana's birthday. The late princess would have turned 60 this year. The Duchess of Sussex is preparing to welcome her baby daughter this summer. And it could very well happen that Meghan gives birth on Princess Diana's birthday the 1st of July. Prince Harry and Meghan announced their pregnancy on Valentine's Day. While paparazzi photos that surfaced last week show the Duchess with a very sizable bump. She was also not cleared by her daughters to make the transatlantic flight from the US to the UK to attend Prince Philip's funeral in mid-April. Meghan was thought to be much further along than three months when she made a pregnancy announcement in February, which could place her due date at around mid-June to early July. Her late mother-in-law Princess Diana's birthday falls on the 1st of July. Prince William and Prince Harry's mother would have turned 60 this year. Meghan gave birth to her son Archie on the 6th of May 2019, although royal biography Finding Freedom revealed that her original due date was the 28th of April. If Meghan is due in mid-June and a baby arrives a few days late again, the little girl could be born on her late grandmother's birthday. The Sussexes reveal the sex of their baby during their sit-down CBS interview with Oprah Winfrey, also adding that their daughter was due in the summer. As the interview wrapped, Oprah reiterated, we can't wait for the big day, sometime this summer. The couple also confirmed that they would not be having any more children after the daughter is born. Harry said it will be amazing to have one of each, and when pressed he affirmed that a family of four is perfect. While the couple are keeping any baby names under wraps, it's likely they'll pay tribute to Princess Diana. They may choose to follow in Prince William and Kate's footsteps and give their daughter the middle name Diana. Much like the Cambridges did when naming their second child, Charlotte Elizabeth Diana. Harry is also very close to this grandmother the Queen and could choose to include Elizabeth as one of his daughter's names. Or, Harry and Meghan may simply choose to have one middle name for their daughter. Their son's full name is Archie Harrison Mountbatten Windsor, with his middle name Harrison literally meaning the son of Harry. Mountbatten Windsor is the surname given to Prince Charles' grandchildren. And the royal family's website states, unless the Prince of Wales chooses to alter the present decisions when he becomes king, he will continue to be of the House of Windsor and his grandchildren will use the surname Mountbatten Windsor. Princess Diana wed Prince Charles on the 29th of July, 1981 in the famed wedding gown designed by Elizabeth and David Emmanuel. Royal fashioned fans have a treat in store. This summer, Princess Diana's iconic wedding dress will be displayed at the palace she once called home. Historic Royal Palace's curators announced on Monday. Prince William and Prince Harry have permitted the dress to be unveiled for royal fans as the centerpiece for a new exhibit at Kensington Palace. The famous gown, designed by Elizabeth and David Emmanuel, and its 25-foot train, which unfurled on the steps of Street Paul's Cathedral behind the and Lady Diana Spencer at a wedding to Prince Charles on 29 July, 1981, will be part of the temporary exhibition, Royal Style in the Making, set in the historic Orangery beginning on 3 June. The exhibition will explore the unique relationship between fashion designers and royal clients the organization said, and will include other historic style pieces such as a rare surviving toile for the 1937 coronation gown of Queen Elizabeth's mother, the Queen Mother. Matthew Storey, exhibition curator at Historic Royal Palaces, said in a statement, Our summer exhibition at Kensington Palace will shine a spotlight on some of the greatest talents of British design, whose work has been instrumental in shaping the visual identity of the royal family across the 20th century. The statement continued, we'll be exploring how the partnership between each designer and client worked, and revealing the process behind the creation of a number of the most important couture commissions in royal history. While one of the highlights will undoubtedly be Diana, Princess of Wales' show-stopping Emmanuel-designed wedding dress which goes on show at the palace for the first time in 25 years. We've got some real surprises up our sleeve for fashion fans. Thank you for watching. If you like our video, would you please help us like, share and subscribe our channel. Wish you happy to see our videos. Thank you very much.